In Essential, you can capture and maintain the bulk of your architecture using our Everyone's Essential editors. The fastest way to do this is via a mix of the editors and the other tools in Essential. The most common approach is to use Launchpad to bulk import your catalogues of data and use the editors to map and maintain them. However, some clients import their bulk data using our APIs. Work your way through the Launchpad definition sheets, adding the data you have. Add your business capabilities and set both your root and your top level capabilities, which define their position in the view. You can set your hierarchy here using the parent relationship, or you can do this in the business capability editor using the tree structure. Next, add your processes. If you don't have any defined, the simplest thing to do is one, take a look at our APQC process data update packs and use one of those. Two, reverse your business capability names. Or three, take your business capability names and add process to the end. For two and three, Launchpad is the fastest way to do the import. For one, simply import the DUP directly into Essential. Next, add your applications. and the application services if you have them. And finally, import a catalogue of technology products, technology capabilities and technology components. Note, you can create all the above in the editors if you wish, and if you have a smaller stage then that may be quicker. You can now use the essential editors to create relationships and maintain your data. The Capability Editor allows you to create and amend your capability hierarchy by selecting and adding or dragging capabilities around. You can then associate your business processes with capabilities using the Business Process Editor. In the editor, select a process and associate them with your business capabilities. If you have captured your roles and organisation, you can set the role that is required by the process and which organisation or team performs it. The functionality mapping allows you to define the high level application functionality the process needs as it is enacted. It can be useful to start by describing the functions the process needs rather than thinking about what actual application or applications the process uses. The Application Support tab allows you to define the applications that are used by each organisation when they perform the process. Importantly, you can set exactly which functionality of the application the process uses, if you know, or just simply say the application supports the process if you don't know the functionality used. You can change this later. This is important as a HR process may use, for example, Workday, but it's more informative and useful to know that it uses, say, the payroll processing functionality and not the GL functionality. That's really important when it comes to looking at rationalisation and replacement opportunities. In the application editor, you can set multiple facets to the application, such as dependencies, costs and mapping back to the processes. The Business Usage tab allows you to define which business processes and which organisations use this application. 
This is a mirror of the application support in the Business Process Editor. The Technology Usage tab lets you capture what technology the application uses in different environments. Finally, the Cost tab lets you capture cost information for an application. The Technology Type Editor lets you associate types of technology, e.g. web server, with capabilities and products. This allows you to start to group your technology products and see where you have multiple products doing the same job. We can also set our technology standards here defining which products are standards for the organisation. Finally, the Technology Product Editor allows us to capture and maintain information about our technology products. As we have seen, the editors provide the foundation of business capability to process to application to technology. Importantly, anyone in the organisation that understands their area can maintain the data. They don't need to understand essential or architecture modelling to do so. But the structure of the editors guides them in capturing semantically correct data.